Okay, hey, Scrubbers, welcome back. I'm Lenjax V6. Today we're going to be taking a look at Satisfactory. Uh, satisfaction, sorry. <laughs> well done for me. Um, I've just let it load in. Uh, I am attempting a different type of recording system at the moment, so things might work, they might not work. Volumes might be up, down, all over the place, uh, or it might even go out of misalignment. So essentially, um, you're on a planet, well, you get dropped on a planet with this thing. Um, and you literally have to make a factory. Short and sweet. So we've got to take this tool, we've got to dismantle that. Yep, cool, we've got hub. Excellent. Press the tab. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fix-it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop we zone. Have the Xeno Zapper. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer right. should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Right. Um, we're going to grab a whole heap of trees because... Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower yeah. petals. Further analysis required. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing biomass because we're going to need biomass. Third objective. Please more. familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Yep, 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 yep. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. All right, so basically what we've got to do at the moment is we're in a biome. Um, oh, there's some water down here. Um, we do need the scanner. Scanner's on C. Right. So what we're looking for is iron. Iron node, iron node, iron node. Uh, 364. Hang on. Uh, that's too far away. So we got one at 364, we got one at 431. Alright, so 364 is this stuff. Hmm. No, nothing I can do with that, you know. Okay. Um, what we're looking for is an iron node. So we'll go running down here a little bit. We're going to get stuck. Nope. Damn it. We can't go that way. Oh, there he is down there. Crap. Okay. And I can hear a beastie. There'd be a wee beastie around here somewhere. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Crap, I gotta get down there. Well, that wasn't exactly how I wanted to do it, but apparently that's how we're going to do it. Right. So, where was it? It was over here somewhere. We saw it. Where are you? Who the bloody hell is it? Oh! Where's the beastie? Alright. So. Alright, so we got pure copper oil here. That's what we need to start with. So we need quite some of that. Uh, I can't really remember how much I need to start with, but. That's not what we want. That. That's not what we want. Uh, I can't remember what the build me was.
Bunch bright filled face cup, yes. Mm. Yeah, it looks like we're just going back to this for now because no. there we go. Uh, because it won't actually let me do anything else until we've done this. Yay! So we do have to look at the ground while we're doing this. Great. That is fantastic. Um, we need the hub to actually be able to build everything else. So we're up shit creek until that point. Come on. Nah, I've got to be missing something. Oh, there's that beastie. Still beastie. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. Can we swim underwater? No, apparently we can't. Okay, so... Well, this is a good place to actually build. Well, it looks like a good place. Let's go over here a bit. I'm just looking for other resources at the moment. Ah, oh, come on, get out of there. Um, okay, so what's this? This looks like... Limestone. Alright, so we got limestone. I can make concrete. Okay. So building the hub here would be a good... Oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for, the build menu to come up. So we need Q. We need to build the hub. Um... Yeah, you can rotate the hub if you wish. Yeah, that'll do. So. Congratulations, you have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench, hub feature hub terminal, fifth objective hub upgrade storage and power. Note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Right, so. This is the hub terminal, that's the hub bench, or the crafting bench. So what it's talking about here is we need to upgrade. Uh, so for that we need 10 rods. Select milestone, we've got it. So we come over here, go to here, go to rods. Uh, so the rods telling us we need iron ingots. And yeah, so we need iron ingots. Now we did get iron. So that's, that's copper. Right, we need iron ore. We've been getting copper ore. That's fantastic. <laughs> We've been getting the wrong one. Hang on a moment. Uh-oh. No wonder this hasn't been working out. I think we're going after the wrong one. <clears throat> However, saying that, we will be needing the copper. I can hear it. Oh, 
Come on, wee beastie. Ah, there we go. Iron ore. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so my mistake. What I needed was iron ore, not copper ore. Um, as I said, though, we will need copper later on. We need iron for now. So what we'll do is I'll do the first upgrade. Give you a quick overview of what I'm thinking of the game and then uh, where we're going to go with it from there. Right, so we'll grab a heap. Now, this is pretty tedious doing it this way. However, it's called Satisfactory for a reason. And one of the things you're going to do is create a factory, which means... Oh, that left. Um, where's our hub? Uh, quite simply means we're going to put a mining unit on that, transport iron ore into a factory, and it's going to produce all the bits and pieces for us. Uh, which really begs the question why I'm hard so far away. Didn't really think about that one. Alright, so iron plate, there we go. Hold the button down and craft. Now it doesn't really matter that I use all the um, iron that we just dug up. That's not going to be a really big problem at all. Now in the future of course I will actually cut out bits and pieces uh, like me going around and getting the resources by hand because that's just going to be really really silly. Nobody wants to watch that. Alright, fine rod. We need 10 of these. There we go, we got 11. So we turn around to here, go to here, uh, drop those onto there and press the upgrade button. Bing! Upgraded. So now we have the storage box. I can now put things into the storage box. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Yep. Hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature copper. So. New equipment buildings and blueprints which can be found in the workshop when built. Build menu and craft bench. Yeah. So basically it's now giving me my biomass generator. So as of before I was collecting all the biomass. Ooh. A little puppy dog. Now there is a way to tame those, I just can't remember how to do it. So, what we need here, we need um, 10 iron plate, 10 uh, iron rod and wire. Funnily enough, if I go to here, I actually have copper ingot. So, I can make the wire. That's not a problem. Iron rods. Yeah, I can make those. Iron plate. There we go. We just made those. So, as you can see, for the first part, it's not very hard at all. Um, actually, select them off. So, that would work better. Um, Oh, 48 or 50. Shit, you idiot. Because I can count. There we go. Another 15. Back to here. Drop those in there. Press the upgrade button. Alright. So. As you can see, there's now a big blank room. The Congratulations. You have unlocked yeah, scan. Go away. This is actually going to turn into the scanning room. So one of the upgrades coming up, as you can see, it's now got a few bits and pieces that are being attached. There's a little drop ship that comes down and attaches to there. Oop, jump up. Back up. Into here. And as you can see, it's the same, it's going to be the same thing again and again and again and again uh, as you do your basic upgrades. Um, and this is going to take a little bit. So I'm going to select the milestone. Uh, I'm going to continue on uh, very shortly. But um, this is a uh, game still in alpha. It's actually quite a nice game. I do like it. You can do multiplayer. Uh, however, one of the things I have uh, noticed um, 
in multiplayer. I've watched a few YouTube streamers. Um, whoever hosts the stream uh, will lag quite severely. So one of the ways around that is if you have a spare computer, use the spare computer to host the game, and then you can have like four or five people join in to the game there. Uh, the reason it lags out is because it's trying to produce all the bits and pieces for everybody on screen. So if you're all together, really, really easy for it, it doesn't have a big problem with it, but if you're actually separated, it's got to create both biomasses. Um, if, you, if you get the meaning for that. So yeah, it will lag out. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll be adding this one to the repertoire of games as I start getting back into gaming, so keep your eyes out for that. Don't forget guys, if you like what you see, of course, it gives us a thumbs up. Um, comments down below, love the comments. Don't forget to press uh, notifications and hit the bell so that you, know, you actually do get notified. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, makes it uh, well worth my effort of actually doing these. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, fair winds and following seas.